And what they're asking to do is to identify uh, the focus, the directrix, and so forth. Well, yes? What number did you say five? This is number five off of your homework. Okay. And all the notes, everything that you missed also, I left up on the board. So you can definitely go and copy those down. Um, but you might need to still get some help from students as far as what they all mean. But anyways, basically the main important thing is we want to be able to identify this as one of these, one of our conic sections formula. You actually don't need above this either, just this. Um, below the squiggly line, below the squiggly line. Um, so we just need to identify which one this looks kind of familiar with and then rewrite it so therefore we can identify the H, or the K, and the P. So obviously you can see that here I have an X squared, so this is very similar to this. However, to identify the H, since I don't have X minus anything, I can always rewrite that as X minus z zero. So therefore, first of all, oh, also the other thing is I noticed that my X squared is isolated. So what I'll do is I'm going to divide by three here. So therefore, I have x squared equals negative 4 thirds y. Now I can rewrite it as x minus 0 squared equals negative 4 thirds y minus 0. Do you guys see how now it looks yes. more like that formula? So now we can identify the vertex is h comma k, which in this case is 0 comma 0. So it occurs at the origin. Um, we need to figure out the value of p. So we know that from our general formula that this x minus h squared equals 4p times um, y minus k. So therefore, we know that negative 4 thirds is equal to 4p. So to identify our value of p, I'm going to divide by 4 on both sides. So therefore, p is equal to a negative 1 third. Now that I know that p is the distance of the negative 1 third, remember p, de 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 p tells us our distance from our vertex to our focus. So since we're going from our vertex, we're going negative. That means we're going to go in the negative direction. But the distance is still 1 third. So we're going to go down 1 third. Now, we have x squared. So is our parabola, is, I'm sorry, is our conic section parabola going to be opening up, down, up or down, or left or right? Up and down, x is squared, right? That's just like the reason why I did this, x squared. We all know x squared is up or down. But since we have this is a negative, the focus is below the vertex. So now we can identify that the vertex is going to, or the parabola is going to open down. Kaylee, does that make sense? OK? So since the one thing I wanted to, you know, to tell you guys is, all right, the vertex here. Now remember, if the focus is down negative 1 third, remember that the vertex and the focus are on the axis of symmetry, right? So which, x, which coordinate, I just said it, which coordinate do they share? Does the focus and the vertex share? The x coordinate, be right? Because they're same left or right. So they're on the same x coordinate. So therefore, the vert, so for the focus, it's going to be, remember if you guys remember the formula, it's h comma k minus p. So in this case, oops, my focus. So p is equal to negative 1 third. So my focus is going to be 0 comma negative 1 third. Whereas the directrix, remember, is the same absolute distance. So this distance, which we call p, is the same distance that I have for my directrix. But remember, the directrix is perpendicular to my axis symmetry. So the axis symmetry is x equals you know, h. Right? So my directrix then is going to be y equals k plus p. Actually, I'm sorry. I should really, the true formula is like this. I shouldn't make this confusing. It's really k plus p. But what's 0 plus negative 1 third? Negative 1 third, right? What's k, or what's 0, which is k? What's 0 minus a negative 1 third? Right, positive. So your vertex, focus, and directrix. And that's all I wanted you guys to figure out for that. Yes? Yes, it is 1 third. Any other questions? Yes? That was last night's homework. Any other questions? Good? Kind of makes sense? Maybe a little bit? Just a tad?